So you ever find yourself doing a favor for a friend which leads you to a great business idea? Well, I'd like to introduce you to a young entrepreneur who had an experience just like that. talking about shoes and here today is Deborah Thompson with Figgy Shoes. What is Figgy Shoes? Figgy Shoes is just a personalized shoe to sort of bring out your personality. It's really popular with brides so like a lot of people want to tell their stories of you know them and their fiance and sort of how they met or you know their favorite things to do together, themes from their wedding or whatever but then they're just good for anybody who just wants a fun pair of shoes that's you know unique. So. Nice. Where did you get the idea for Figgy Shoes? A friend of mine um, just called me out of the blue two weeks before her wedding. She was like, so, you know, I know this is really busy right now, but like, do you have any time you could paint a pair of shoes for my wedding? And I'm like, well, I've never done it before. I have no idea, like, you know, what I'm doing. Are you sure? Like, you trust me with that? And she's like, oh yeah, I totally trust you. So, um, so I just did them for her and sent them off and that was it. So how is it, how has it been received so far? Oh, very, very well. <laughs> like, surprisingly. Um, even just like all the time, there's like different websites or blogs that, you know, I'll get an email from somebody, oh, we're featuring you on the blog today or whatever. And just like from that, other people email from all over the world. I've had like over 30 countries, you know, people from those countries asking for information. Over 30 countries. Yeah, yeah. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. How many shoes have you sold? Uh, about 75 pairs have been done now, um, but I've got a lot of orders coming up for the next few months. So. So as a young entrepreneur, what kind of advice would you have for um, other entrepreneurs looking to start their own business? Um, I've just found that, you know, being being a real person to people and putting them first and letting them know that, you know, they're not just a number in a big group of people that are, you know, everybody's emailing you, whatever. So like one of my goals for Figgy Shoes and for all of my business ventures is to always, you know, like to keep people, you know, at the top of my priority. Like I love the personal connection with clients. I love actually sitting down with people and talking with them, meeting them face to face, which is not always possible with, you know, orders that are going to Australia and whatever. But, um, but I want, you know, that to always be a priority and it's already hard because I can't do it all myself. So where would you like to see Figgy go? Someone asked me that recently though, and I was thinking about it and you know, it, like it would be really cool, I think, to have sort of a like a showroom or a boutique where you can have people come in and like look at shoes, try things on, sit down, and actually like watch you sketch, add their ideas, and what like just somewhere where they could go and be pampered, kind of like a bridal salon, but for shoes specifically. So yeah, that would be kind of a cool thing. Where did the name Figgy come from? Okay, it's kind of a, a lame story. <laughs> Um, I wish it was more interesting, but basically uh, the Christmas carol that says come bring us the figgy pudding. I always thought figgy pudding sounded really funny just to say it. So I was like, hmm, figgy pudding, so funny. <laughs> so I just used that as my email address and then it kind of was my username online for different things. Um, and then people just started using it as a nickname or whatever. So when I started my photography business actually, um, I didn't want to use my name because it's just kind of boring and whatever, but I also worked with other people and I didn't want like my name, you know, on their work. So I wanted something sort of generic and, you know, now it turns out to be a really good memorable name that everyone's like, oh yeah, I've heard of Figgy. <laughs> so. Okay, so to all your fans out there that are watching in 30 different countries, what would you like to say to them? Just, I can't thank you guys enough so much for all the support and all, like, all the comments on Facebook and everywhere, just the emails and everything. That's you know, that's what keeps me like really excited and motivated to you know post more photos and you know it's just exciting to me to see that other people you know enjoy looking at stuff and you know even if even if they don't have any need for shoes just knowing that people love looking at them is you know that's good for me so thank you so much young local Windsor Wright entrepreneur Deborah Thompson with Figgy Shoes in 30 countries worldwide she came across the idea while doing a favor for a friend and inspiration for business comes from all over the place and it's great to see that Deborah took advantage of this opportunity when it came to her. So I want to thank you very much for joining me here on Glen TV, Deborah. I want to wish you as well all the best with Figgy Shoes and much success to you. Thank you. And this is Glenn McCarl coming to you from Glen TV. Make sure you give, live, and empower now and we'll catch you next time. Have a great day. So on average, how long would it take you to do a pair of shoes? Um, typically, it depends. Like every pair is different, but typically around six hours from start to finish. Should I mention that you know I usually have a six-week you know 
wait, like I usually tell people, um, you know, let me know at least six weeks ahead of your event though because the waiting list is so long and... Good job. Awesome. In like one take. Sweet.